Neither of my parents had a college education and it was very important to them that we knew we could be whatever we wanted to be. Including longtime president and CEO of Nebraska's largest credit union. And my first big goal was I wanted to hit 500 million. And I thought, well, I'll retire before that happens based on our growth. Uh, and then we did. And the employees immediately wanted to know. I mean, we had a big celebration. It was fun. And they wanted to know what what's our next goal. And so I said, well, I think we're going to be a billion. And last June, under Gail DeBoard's leadership, it was mission accomplished for Cobalt Credit Union, formerly SAC Federal. The next big goal, it's guaranteed to come. Gail has been eyeing and achieving lofty goals her entire life. Her route, a bit non-traditional. Instead of going to college after high school, Gail took a clerical job with the Omaha Royals. That was a really fun job, but I quickly figured out that it wasn't a career. That's when she began pursuing an accounting degree at University of Nebraska Omaha and working for a now defunct energy company. While I was going to school, got married, had a couple kids, worked at Enron, so definitely not traditional. It took me 11 years to get my degree in accounting. Gail left Enron in 1988 and took a job as an internal auditor with then SAC Federal Credit Union. It was great because I was able to really learn every part of the credit union. She applied for and was promoted to Senior Vice President of Operations. So I went from one part-time employee to about 100 employees overnight, and uh, that was exciting. During her 12 years as Senior VP of Operations, SAC Federal Credit Union grew from five branches to 12. When she learned the president and CEO was planning to retire in five years, she set a new goal, the head office, and began preparing to achieve it. I went back and got my master's business administration at Bellevue University. And again, that was an 18 month program. I took a little longer than that because I had three kids in high school and junior high at that time. And I knew that I had lots of other commitments, but I did, I did finish it in three years. That's probably the number one question I get asked is work-life balance and how did you do that? First of all, I have an amazing husband and John really picked up the pieces um, and we were really partners through the whole thing. Gail became the president and CEO of SAC Federal Credit Union in 2007. You have to be ready when that opportunity presents itself. I had a vision of what I wanted to do and I think that that's Probably the advice I give most people is, if you have a vision and you have a goal, you can attain it. Straight away, Gail implemented the credit union's first formal training program and launched a rebranding effort to raise the credit union's profile in the community. Additional branches were also a priority. Cobalt now has a total of 25 branches in Greater Omaha and Council Bluffs, Lincoln, and Denison, Iowa, up from 12 in 2007. In August of 2018, just two months after reaching the $1 billion mark, the credit union notched another major milestone, a second name change in its 73-year history, from SAC Federal Credit Union to Cobalt. We looked at a lot of names. It's not, a, not as easy a process as I thought it might be. We were looking for something that still had some tie to our military history. With the credit union for 31 years now, Gail says most rewarding for her is watching people grow. I've been there long enough now to have seen a lot of people really just um, do great things. Gail has done the same. She is a leadership Omaha grad and a member of the Greater Omaha Chamber Board. She sits on the Board of Trustees for the Omaha Ethics Alliance and the Children's Hospital Foundation. In 2016, she was the inaugural recipient of the ICANN Leadership Award. Community involvement is a priority for her and for the credit union. Credit union philosophy in general is people helping people. And we've really always embraced that philosophy. We just started a foundation. Um, it's the SAC Foundation. And the focus is really around financial literacy and um, helping our military families. They have challenges that not everybody has to face with deployments and just lots of challenges. And if we can step in and help them through those times, um, we really want to be there for that. In her free time, Gail enjoys being outdoors, 
golfing, skiing, and fly fishing. A bit of downtime to balance the drive. For Gail, there will always be new goals to conquer. You know, have a vision for yourself. And, and you have to work hard. It's not gonna be just given to you. And I think if you have a vision and a goal and you work to achieve it, you, know, you really can. Uh, you can achieve all kinds of things. For being living proof of that, for achieving a vision that has strengthened the community and elevated the lives of thousands of members, Gail DeBoer, welcome to the Omaha Business Hall of Fame.